Alright guys, I just got off the phone with an electric detonator. We were toxic, toxing, texting, <laughs> texting back and forth. And there he is again. We were texting back and forth and um, we were discussing this. A Walmart exclusive ultra size action figure. Crap. That's what it is. Crap. It, you're probably like, what? Trenton Films, what is that? What is it? Is that a three and three fourths figure? No, it's not. It's exclusive Dark Knight Rises Walmart ultra size action figure. Gotham City Showdown Bane versus Batman. You're probably like, what the heck is that? Yeah. So, Batman comes with two chainsaws wrapped around his wrist. Bane comes with two ch chainsaws attached together. Um, Electric Detonator said these are not movie master size, and he is right. We'll do a size comparison here in a minute. Yeah, I saw this at the store and I'm like, what the hell? And now all the movie masters were gone at Walmart. But they, and at one time all the quick tech Batman stuff was gone too. But now they had this. And all, all thousands and thousands of quick tech Batman crap. So I was like, oh, well this looks interesting. So I thought it would be funny to review to do this. And um, so I was like, okay, well, let's do this. And then I, when I pulled this off the peg, they had another Batman. And I'll show you the picture. If you look here, Batman doesn't have a cape. His bat is all red. And Bane's the same Bane, but just different colors. And the different accessories, but Batman don't even have a cape. Come on, man. All right, let's look at the back here. Oh yeah, hmm. Bigger back art. Bane and these look like knockoffs, like from you would see overseas or something. But these are from Mattel. While Commissioner Gordon stumbles across a plot to destroy the city from within, Bruce Wayne gets into the action as Batman, waiting for him is Bane, lethal adversary, blah, 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 blah. So, it's pretty much the movie. Alright, let's open up these knockoffs. I mean, these ultra-posable figures. Or ultra-sized action figures. And we'll be right back. If you look really hard, if you can tell, Batman's cape is stuck in here. This little piece of plastic is holding his cape in. I gotta get him out. Alright, you guys, look at review me! Well, this is not too really bad of a figure. Can you see that? It's dark. He's just black. And he sculpted really nice. And all that. So, head sculpt's really nice. Cloth cape. You really can't beat that. That's, they, you know, they should did this. For the movie masters line. Can't get them to stand up. Okay, have a little peg hole back there. So that's cool. He's not really that bad of a figure for maybe uh see three and three fourths in four inch, five inch figure. Maybe a four inch figure. Cause the movie masters are a tad shorter. And um let's just compare them real fast. Alright, so we have here, yep, they're not the same size, obviously, so yeah, that is, obviously Electric Detonator was right, they are not, these newer two-pack are not Movie Master size. But the sculpt is exactly the same. The belt's a little bit of a different color. It's just the difference is that this one will stand and the Movie Masters won't. 
Let's go over articulation for this Batman. This two pack Batman has a head swivel. I bet you this is maybe what. Well, no, he didn't. Never mind. He has a. a uh, unlike the three and three fourths one, where I don't know where mine went to, but he had this one has this four inch one has what do you call it? elbow elbow articulation. Up, oh, no wrist swivel though. Does this one have it? Yeah, the movie masters one have it, but this one doesn't. Um, a knee articulation. And, oh, but no ankle articulation. No ab crunch. But this waist does swivel. I really dig this cloth cape. I just wish the Movie Masters one had that. I was wondering if you could switch them out, but this cape might be... This cape might look a tad too short on the Movie Masters one. There is no bicep swivel or his, um, you know how you can extend this arm like that. He, he doesn't do that. So it's just a really strange scale of figure to have. And then he comes with these accessories. That fit on his arm. And I'm not too sure how movie accurate that is. I don't remember that at all. Bruce, will you cut the turkey for us? Surely. <laughs> really, really did the clump tape. Alright. Bane. Crummy. Crummy Bane. Articulation in the in the um, hips. Let's do the twist, like we did last summer. Head turns a 360. Crammy paint job. Oh, look at all that paint slop right there. No details in the vest. No swivel. He has a knee articulation. No ankle articulation. I wish we had a jack a jackless jacketless bane in the movie master series, but this definitely will not do. Um, he comes with this accessory, you put it in his hand, and it spins around. See what I found. So yeah, that's a crummy, crummy bane. It looks like a Happy Meal toy. You know, that's what these look like. Big Happy Meal toys. Is that, is that what we are? Alright. Here's them compared to their Movie Master size again. Size comparison. Do I recommend these? No. I mean, if you have kids and you don't want to buy them a 16 $24 toy, and you want to give them these, yeah, I would knock yourself out. They're only nine bucks, two pack. Not too bad. I'm really impressed with the Batman. But, um, yeah, that's kind of cool. If you have kids, uh, there's only two in the set. There's the god awful discolored Batman one, and there's this Batman one. This set one, what we're reviewing here. Yeah, don't get them. I just bought them more of a curiosity to see what they were what they were like. So, all right, guys, that was my review of the horrible Batman and Bane two pack for kids. Definitely for kids. Yeah, kids. All right, guys. Bye.